machine for living, the modernist house. Australia has become a country that is heavily invested in modernist design thanks to past designers such as Robin Boyd, whose legacy is still felt through architecture studios like Edition Office. Boyd was an architect, writer, teacher and social commentator, but was more commonly known as the man who played a vital role in bringing modernism to Australia. His life and works played a key role in influencing future design. Boyd's modernist principles are clearly visible through his well-known works in Walsh Street House 1957 and Baker House 1966. Robin Boyd was born in 1919 in Warrandyte, Victoria. He began his studies at Royal Melbourne Technical College in 1935. Near the end of his studies, World War II had occurred and had begun to take shape and change the world of design. The modernist movement began its rise post-World War II as society needed to advance from this dreadful past and create a new style representative. Modernism refers to a worldwide movement that has sought an alternative arrangement with the experiences and values of present day modern life, to live in the present time looking forward not backwards. Boyd's style of architecture began to take form through his influences of modern designers. The Bauhaus played a vital role in this movement, however the key influences on Boyd's successful style can be contributed to Le Corbusier and Roy Grounds. Roy Grounds and Le Corbusier were pioneers in residential architecture. Roy Grounds played a key role in influencing Boyd not only as his mentor and also his business partner as they worked together for a while, with also Frederick Romberg as their draftman. Le Corbusier was well known for his prominent use of raw cement in creating unique rectilinear forms with open interiors and free facades. Boyd took part of Corbusier's style and applied it to his design the mind form and function but seamlessly connected to nature. Boyd's design philosophy encompassed the need for better architecture and planning, more imaginatively exciting and more involving, more our own, he said. His interest in residential architecture in particular sparked from his ideologies that the suburb was the major element of Australian society. This shows his passion and drive to change the game when it came to designing homes that had more to them than just a typical off-plan house. Boyd's Wall Street house design involved a large sloped roof with a central courtyard separating the two sections of the house. This remarkably unpretentious building in the heart of South Yarra managed to blend in perfectly with its urban environments using modern design principles. Boyd used modern engineering technology through tension cables that connected each side of the courtyard, supporting the custom design lightweight roof. His use of modernist principles form following function and truth to materials, with the building form and the choice of natural timber and exposed brick to give a raw and innate touch to the house. Boyd's experimentation with the unique sloped roof, which spans the entire length of the building, took full advantage of the natural fall of the land. It stood him apart from other architects of the time. In Boyd's 1960 novel on Australian architecture, The Australian Ugliness, he states that most of Australian children grew up on lots of steak, sugar and depressing deformities of nature and architecture. This highlighted Robert Boyd's passionate hatred for the state of Australian architecture at the time, and his desire for modernisation amongst Australian homes. Modernization is the process of adapting to the changes of modern society. Boyd's modernist design was his motivation to institute change. He wanted to move Australia forward and not fall behind. He didn't want to see Australia miss out on the modernist movement and be stuck with the pressing deformities of architecture. It is evident through Boyd's career that he maximized his skills to propel Australian architecture to the next century through his unique shapes and designs. The famous 1960 Baker House in Bacchus Marsh exemplified the perfect balance of nature and architecture. This naturally a contemporary house was truly a stroke of genius. In 1964, Boyd was commissioned by mathematician Dr. Michael Baker to build a house in harmony with the surrounding bushland. Baker wanted to be isolated from society and nature but remain close to the city for work. He chose the property in Bacchus Marsh through construction of a perpendicular bisector between Point Cook and Melbourne University. Baker then measured his maximum daily commuting distance and travelled out to find the nearest bushland that was untouched. It would be worthless for agriculture due to minimal topsoil levels as a location to build his house. Most of the interior and exterior were built from the stones sourced from the local quarry. The building was made primarily of stone and displayed Boyd's modernist design principles through his use of truth and materials. It was built amidst a large expanse of bushland, so the natural stone allowed the large house to be a hidden gem to bend seamlessly amongst its surroundings. Boyd's fondness for flexibility and open interior space led him to experiment with a new way of open plan design. Boyd designed the building in a square shape to allow the free-flowing movement around the house, 
The building surrounds the central courtyard and captures 360 degree views of the picturesque Great Dividing Range. The 360 degree external facade opened the house, allowing natural air and light to flow into the house and into the central courtyard. The enclosed courtyard was filled with greenery and gave you a feel you were outside, but you were with the shelter of a glass roof. Boyd loved adding courtyards into his design, allowing homeowners to be truly be one with nature. Baker House is a great example of modernity in the 1960s. Modernity being the quality of state of being modern. The now heritage listed Baker House in Bacchus March is the epitome of architecture connecting with nature. It is one of the most important post-war Australian residential buildings. The highly conceptual nature of the project suggests that Boyd was putting art above function, but remained staunchly loyal to the old doctrine that form follows function. Nowadays, contemporary designers are influenced by past designers and their works. Edition Office is a contemporary architecture studio who is reaping the benefits of learning from Robin Boyd to create unique buildings such as Keaton House. Edition Office focuses mainly on residential architecture in Australia. The company originally started when Aaron Roberts and Kim Bridgeland were studying together and they realised they share similar views in architecture. Roberts and Bridgeland think complex about how they deal with their work and visualising not simply the style and capacity but its social effect and importance as well. Their plan was to impact positive change on both individuals they associate with and those that are affected by the spaces they design. In addition's office Keaton House in 2020, many similarities are seen in Robin Boyd's 1966 Baker House. This includes a square floor plan with an abundance of glass sliding windows allowing for airflow inside and out, and the rendered cement flooring that keeps the house organic with its subdued colour palette. Further, the use of the naturally exposed brickwork on the exterior and interior walls adds to the softness of the house and pairs perfectly with the white plastered ceiling and the corrugated iron angled roof. This building is a masterpiece of modern residential architecture, design proving that less is more and form truly does follow function. Boyd's influence remains present through contemporary designers today, such as Edition Office. Robin Boyd spent his career creating timeless pieces of modernist architecture, including houses, churches and apartments throughout Australia. Even after his tragic death in 1971, his legacy stands strong. In his honour, the Robin Boyd Foundation was created and oversees the running of educational programs and initiatives that provoke and lead fearless dialogue on Australian architecture and design. The program's themes are linked to Boyd's design philosophy and practice contributing to a greater understanding of how good design can improve our lives and address societal needs. Furthermore, the Boyd Foundation have created a group of the best architects and designers that were influenced by Boyd, who are very skilled, passionate and are obligated to progressing good design in Australia. This group, the Boyd Circle, run workshops and seminars to spread knowledge gained from Boyd and share his views of good design and share it across the country. They are all based in Boyd's very own home, Wall Street House. Boyd Circle holds classes and tours of the building to allow the public see what a wonder his architecture truly is. Boyd's influence on Australian modernist architecture is prevalent throughout Australia. He has shaped this country into the contemporary place that it is today.